Hey guys, just wanted to make a video. Um, so I just felt in my spirit. Actually, last night I had a dream about. I think it was going to Taiwan, and it was about jet lag and kind of like running out of time. And I just felt in my spirit like, whoa, like it's really important to tell people how you feel because actually there's a breakthrough in the spirit right now for those who are willing to do so. Maybe you've had like kind of bad relation. Oh, I have eye booger. Maybe you've had like bad relationships, um, with your parents, and like you really need to like let it out. I just feel such a breakthrough in your heart right now, for relationships and um, Heavenly Father God. I just pray, Lord, that you would, um, do a breakthrough in our hearts right now in Jesus' name, um. That there are feelings that you've been repressing that you haven't been able to voice, um, with the people around you. But as you start to tell people how you feel, you're going to have a release in your heart. You're gonna have a breakthrough in your heart, and um, you're no longer gonna stifle, um, your personality and your emotions, because it's going to, release something in your heart that's gonna be so. Full of love, like you're gonna experience love and joy in a way that you haven't for a long time, because you've had so much pain in your heart, and you haven't been able to express it somehow. You haven't been able to release it. I just feel like um God is going to do a breakthrough in your heart as you tell people how you feel, and so I pray this breakthrough onto your heart in Jesus' name. That um, you may have pain in your heart. That's gonna you're gonna cry. You're going to express yourselves, and um, it's gonna be so good. And you're gonna experience love in a way that you've never experienced in your heart. Um, some of you have been silent for a long time because you have stifled um, what you really want to say to people, and uh, like, <laughs> like um, that. You've kind of suppressed how you felt because you're scared of rejection or judgment, and um, right now it's like, man, your heart's like, like feeling pain and almost death because you're like, my thoughts don't seem to matter or my opinions don't matter, but they do matter, and I feel the Lord say like, your thoughts and beliefs and opinions do matter. They matter in my eyes, and um. You need to release them, and so I feel like there's, wow, just a breakthrough right now. Um, that you haven't reached out to some people that, um, you've been afraid to reach out. You've been afraid to tell your truth, and you're gonna go back. You're gonna go back to some of these people, and you're gonna tell them how you actually feel. So, um, wow, such a breakthrough right now. Um, some people that you've kind of just ignored because you're like, oh, I'm afraid of confrontation. But I feel like in confronting that, in confronting the fear, you're going to overcome um, just any fears of rejection right now in the name of Jesus. Um, yes, there's no right or wrong. Like just do and just be and go forward. Um, and I just feel like He wants to heal the pain in your heart regarding the past and people who have hurt you. And um, yeah, there's just like so much pain that you stifled and. Wow, you really need to release it right now. And um, some of you, some of you have just ghosted and disappeared from people in your life because you were scared to speak up for yourself. You were scared to tell the truth. And I just feel like, um, wow, it's like there's so much pain there. But like God is going to heal that as you tell them what's on your mind. And whoa, I just feel like. There's such a restoration in the spirit for families and friends, and while like I know for sure for me like I was very hurt and wounded by people in the past, and so instead of telling them, I actually, I actually disappeared and um I didn't speak up and I didn't talk to them ever again. But I just feel like God's like whoa like because of that it's like I became silent about certain things in my life. And I didn't talk to them. I didn't speak up. So I just feel like wow, there's a vulnerability there, and um, wow, there's um, like a feeling of like whoa, I've waited too long, and some of you have waited way too long to confront some of the issues and the conflicts in your life. You've been afraid to tell people the truth, and that comes from people pleasing. 
and you're afraid of rejection and that you're afraid of losing a person in your life. But as you tell the truth that um, you're saying to yourself, my heart matters, my heart matters. And like, wow, there's going to be such a breakthrough in your heart where you're no longer going to stay silent about certain things. You're not going to stay silent when people mistreat you. You're not going to stay silent when um, people ignore you or, or dismiss you. That you're going to be, wow, such a fire, a lion of truth that you're going to open your mouth and you're going to speak. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be powerful because um, you're no longer going to be silenced in the name of Jesus. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, courage to speak up, courage to reach out, Lord Jesus to those that have hurt you lord i mean hurt you as a person i just pray healing over that place that you're not gonna ignore mistreatment you're not gonna ignore abuse you're not gonna ignore verbal abuse but you're gonna speak up and say hey what you did like really hurt me it hurt me and like i feel betrayed and i feel like um my heart hurts because of it and to be that vulnerable with the people in your life or the people from your past. And whether they're relatives or even family members, to speak up and not just let things go. Because that's the basis of relationship, honesty. If you don't have vulnerability and honesty, you don't really have a relationship. That relationship is fake. That relationship is for people-pleasing only. God has called us to speak in truth and to that our emotions are valuable and valid. And if you have been hurt, I encourage you to reach out to those people and just say, hey, look, I'm reaching out to you. I don't know if our relationship really is going to continue, but I just want to say that when you did this, it really hurt my feelings. And I felt this way and this way. And start a conversation with that person Right, because I feel like that's really healing for your heart. That's healing. And you're like, well, what's the point? The point is that you your heart is going to be restored. Right. And I just feel like God is doing that right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. And right now in this in this moment, um, yeah, there's such a breakthrough in the spirit. I feel like wow, it's like as you break through, like, wow, some of your husband and your wife, your spouses are gonna appear because um, it's like you're saying to yourself, like, I deserve to be loved. And as you, it's almost like sending out that message to the universe. Like, I've been waiting too long, right, to say what's on my mind. I've been waiting too long to honor my heart. And when you honor your heart by saying, this is how I feel, and you are vulnerable with someone, as you honor your heart, it's like saying to the God, like, I deserve to be happy. I deserve to have what I want. And guess what? Your husband and your wife, is, they are coming soon. Like your life partner is coming soon because you're no longer stifling how you feel. And in marriage, it's like vital. It's essential that you're always being vulnerable and honest with your spouse. And so some of you have been like, where's my spouse? Well, God's been training you to speak your mind because if you don't even speak your mind now, how are you going to speak your mind in marriage when things aren't the way that you want them to be or you're feeling hurt or, you know, you just need to express how you feel constantly. Marriage is not like fun, like fun pies and games. Like you're not just like sitting there Netflix and chilling. You actually need to learn how to communicate how you feel. And like you're not doing that even with the people that you meet now. Guess what? You're probably not going to do that in your marriage. So I just feel like the Lord wants to do that in your heart right now to have a breakthrough so that you are honoring your heart. You're saying like, hey, this and this so that you're not afraid to be vulnerable, right? So I pray that this is a message that would just be sent to your spirit um, to cut through the junk in your heart and to say, look, I'm valuable and I'm worthy to be heard and understood. And so I pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my blog and to my YouTube channel. And if you like to sow a seed of financial contribution to this ministry, you can do so on my website. God bless. Bye.